Turkey will not only uh, readmit uh, refugees and asylum seekers sent back from Europe, but will also become more proactive in stopping them coming, crossing the Aegean and so on. In the in, uh, as regards the Africa summit, the aim there is to get African countries also to become more proactive in stopping migrants leaving their borders. And one of the ways this, they're trying to do this is by offering inducements to African elites to come to Europe more easily, in return effectively for policing their own borders more effectively. The EU summit will no doubt attempt to put some pressure to get countries to kind of step up, basically, and accept the refugees they said they were going to accept, or at least um, say how many they are going to accept. There was also, in the last EU summit in September, something like 1.8 billion euros were promised to help assist with this problem, and they haven't um, been forthcoming. And so, you know, this makes some of the talk, some of the proposals in both the, both the Valletta summits uh, talking about $1.8 billion to help African development, 3.8 million euros to um, help Turkey get on board. So, you know, given the fact that the money that has already been pledged has not been forthcoming, one can't be entirely hopeful that these uh, proposals will actually have any concrete results. If we look at um, this year, 94% of the uh, migrants who have been crossing the Aegean in the Mediterranean are not, um, are com come from Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan and Eritrea and would be classified as refugees if they had the opportunity to apply for refugee protection.